Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the title of the video says that this is going to be a Linux shell scripting course from beginners to advanced, but I won't just be talking about shell scripting, but a lot of other stuff like shells and shell environment, built-ins and stuff like that. So what you see on your screen is a Linux shell, right? So if you go back like 35, 40 years uh, back uh, in the operating system world, uh, there was no UI. Uh, and you were only given a command line interface. So the word interface is important. So this is basically an interface that lets you connect with the operating system, that lets you use the operating system, that lets you interact with the operating system, right? So that's what basically a shell is. <coughs> uh, for us, since we are on Linux system, uh, Linux system has had many uh, different types of shells started with C shell long back then came the born shell and the shell which we have been using uh, is called born again or yeah born again shell so if you want to find out if you're on a Linux system and if you want to find out which shell you are using so there is an environment variable called shell and you can just do an echo on this and you would know which shell you are using so you can see I'm using bin bash uh, I think the font size is okay or I should just increase it right and yeah so let's do an echo again so this is the shell which we are using and this is the shell which we'll be using for our shell scripting course <coughs> Just to navigate through uh, shell, get more information about shell, I can just simply do a man on bash, right? And I'll get all the information I require. So you can see that this is basically a command language interpreter that executes commands, reads from the standard input or from file. So that's what uh, bash shell does for you. It uh, basically executes command for you. Uh, talking about commands, there are two types of commands in Linux. Uh, there are shell built-ins and then there are binaries, external binaries. So how do you find what what commands are shell built-ins and what commands are external binaries? So there is basically a command to do that as well, which is called type. So if I do say type on a shell built-in, so I'll talk about what is a shell built-in, what, what, what is an external binary. So CD is a shell built-in. So you can see type will actually shell out that this CD is a shell built-in. But if I do type on say, say mount, right? So it will give me the location where mount is. So that means that mount is not a shell built-in. So the basic difference between shell built-in commands and an external binary is that shell built-ins, uh, they execute within the shell itself, right? So they don't, uh, so I actually have to go on a little deep how a command basically is executed in Linux. So there are two operations when you execute a command. Uh, fork and exec. So when you execute a command, uh, there is... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so the Linux kernel actually creates a copy of the current shell and then executes a command in that. Right. That's for the external binaries. That's how a command is executed. But for shell built-ins, there is no uh, fork operation which happens. So they are executed in the current shell itself. And that makes sense also because if you see a command like CD, if it forks a child shell and executes, you would never be actually be able to change directories, right? Because, because after executing the child shell, it gets destroyed, it kills itself, right? And it returns uh, the control to the parent shell. So you would stay in the same directory from where you've run the command so that's uh, basically that's why cd is actually a shell built-in and not an external binary uh, in order to find all the shell built-in commands there is a command called comchen this command actually if you run it just like this it will list out all the commands which are available to you in a linux system right but since we want only built-ins i'll just say hyphen b and let me clear the screen let's do a less right so you can see what all things are uh, basically shell built-ins alias bg bind caller cd comgen itself complete exactly well bunch of this right you can just 
you can just see you will emit you mask and there is something called uh, shell keywords as well right so there are shell built-in commands and shell keywords so keywords like for like if right so these are the keywords so we'll talk about for and if when we'll uh, go into our uh, shell scripting thing but for and if basically you use in your shell scripting to loop over something or to do basically expression matching right something like that so that's that's where uh, these keywords come in so in order to list the keywords i'll just show you so don't think that we'll will not talk about these things uh, when we'll basically go into our shell scripting part we'll talk about these things in detail so comgem hyphen k basically gives you all the keywords so you can say if then else by case for select while all these things are the shell keywords <coughs> actually you would get a very good detail information about the shell if you read the man page for bash uh, again then I think the next thing I want to talk about is uh, variables so there are uh, some predefined shell variables already available to you which you can use like I showed you uh, the shell variable right so this variable you can use directly there is uh, there are a bunch of other variables as well say home is there you can see my home is defined right so I can do something like CD dollar home right and it will take me to my home so in order to get information about uh, your shell environment uh, variables there's a command called env and if you just run it uh, you would get the list of all the environment variables you can see uh, i called home shell then all all these variables are defined right so let's echo dollar host name so you would get the host name right so this these are called the environment variables and then there are some shell variables which you can define clear the screen so if I say define a var and I would call it hello right so now if I echo dollar var so you can see that but this is basically a shell variable and we can use these variable in our shell scripting so we'll we'll see we'll see that all right so that's uh, about the shell uh, some basic commands uh, which we'll use a lot uh, even during our shell scripting command like cat which is basically used to uh, output any file on the standard out so say cat uh, etc passwd so this is basically the password file another command which we'll probably use in our uh, uh, scripting is grep so if i want to grep is basically to uh, uh, find something uh, maybe it can be a file or it can be some text within the file so say if i want to find root in etc fastwd so it will basically and i can also find files with the grep uh, another command which we'll use is sed uh, so sed is basically stream editor so we'll use shells in sed in our shell scripting basically to perform some find and replace kind of operations and then there is awk awk is basically to is another kind of uh, basically string editor uh, say I'll give you an example so say awk uh, not like this so I'll just cat out etc passwd and say suppose I want to grep or I want to find only the last field which is basically the shell so I can do awk hyphen f and I can see that these fields are separated by colons right so I can specify the field separator as colon and then I can print curly braces as well print dollar nf so nf basically in awk it uh, it signifies the last column i can also do something like one two three four five six seven so i can do dollar seven if if 
if it is confusing for you. And you can see I can print out all the shells for all the users. So these would be the commands. I just wanted to show you what would be the commands which we'll be using in our scripting course. But this is basically what Linux shell is. This is how you navigate through the shell. Uh, I strongly suggest that after this video, you please read the man page for the bash. Uh, just do man bash and just go through the page, look into some shell built-ins. Uh, important ones are basically echo. Echo is a very important one. Basically, you use something like it is like a print statement in any programming language. If you if you can uh, relate to that, so yeah, just go through it, uh, and we'll continue in our next video. We'll start off with some uh, shell scripting basics and then we'll continue it from there. I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.